Hello everyone, who cares a hunter here? Here is another tutorial about a new animal that we have in the game. You can hear it in the background and you can see it up in the sky. They added the Canadian goose. And we want to see uh, what kind of equipment uh, they have provided so you can hunt geese, uh, how you use the collars, how you use the blind and uh, how to hunt uh, goose. So um, have fun. That's not the Canada goose, of course, but the pheasant now has a fellow bird here at the Hirschfeld Reserve. Unlike the uh, mallard duck, the geese actually prefer to land on solid ground or can only land on solid ground, and there is plenty of open fields here at Hirschfelden. So we're going to set up our waterfowl blind and our decoys, and as you can, as you can see, the tent is right there next to it, so you can spawn there. You can start your hunts, enter your blind, and then uh, wait for geese to come in. So let's set up a few decoys around the waterfowl blind. That's more like it. So these guys we will be hunting. Very nicely done how they uh, fly in the V shape, like they do in real nature to uh, save energy they fly in, uh, behind each other slightly shifted to the side and that's what we see here and you can also hear from the calls that they're making uh, this feels like geese let's have a look here at the uh, at the blind you remember the duck blind it's the same shape but it's got a uh, swamp camouflage this one has a fall camouflage to it so you can hide inside there and it protects you from the birds it also protects you a little bit from other animals uh, when you stay in there so we have bought a bunch of decoys actually i bought a bundle of 24 uh, there's three different kinds actually let's have a look at them over here in the mirror view they're very nicely done so there is one decoy with a goose head down like it's feeding there's another one with the head sh looking to the left and one looking to the right it doesn't really matter which one you use you can uh, set up 24 of the same type it's really the number that matters because uh, the more you set up the better and 24 gives you the uh, maximum effect along with the colors and the flagler that we're going to see later so you cannot set it up right next to the blind there. You can see it says it's too close. It's uh, 3 out of 10 meters. Now you can set it up. So it needs to be 10 meters away, but that's not a problem. You have a short range collar that will uh, bring the geese very close to you. So this is fine. With the mouse wheel, you can change direction, but you will likely run around anyway, set them up. What you can also do is with the right mouse button, you can rotate the decoy and then just click to set it so let's uh, run around here set a few up and I'll be back once everything's set up okay so all the decoys are set out 24 in numbers and it looks really r very nicely done uh, very real kind of in the YouTube movies we've been watching while uh, we were we were waiting for this animal to come to the game what I'd like to see though is if they can actually lure geese down oh they can so there was a flock really far out passing by this field and one goose was actually attracted to the decoys so let's see what it does I'm actually standing in the waterfall blind so I'm not trying to duck or anything and it landed over there so just like with the ducks animals are attracted they will land in the vicinity 
and without the short range collar it'll be a bit further out and um, so the decoys work and before we go on I have to go kill that freaking pheasant that's been calling <laughs> And before I can go kill the pheasant, here is another bunch of geese. Six of them come down. Very nice, very nice. So there they glide in. I can't really tell the difference in size though. Kind of felt like with the ducks I was able to tell males from females. Of course by the colors, but also by the size. And here I get an invasion. Very nice, look at that. That looks so real. Almost don't want to shoot them. And still, I'm standing in my blind. They're right here. They're not afraid of me. They don't see me here really. You can actually also see the new way of displaying the spotting information in the upper right corner and a white text on a black in a black box so you can read it against any background and chatting you're quite chatty I have just no idea what is a male versus a female Oh, we get a lot of company. Another six are coming down. I think we're going to have a big party. Actually, seven are coming down. Hello, guys. Welcome make yourself a home Very nice, so uh, I'm going to use the flush key and see how they take off. There they go. See you later guys. You can use that flushing to shoot them in the air. <laughs> There's my pheasant again. Oh boy, I'm gonna come get you. Like with the mallard duck, we have a long range collar. This one will uh, convince the geese in the flocks that down here is a good place to be. So you use this one to uh, make them break from their flocks. And also similar to duck hunting, we have the short range collar. This one will uh, make the geese come closer once they have uh, broken off the flock. This one will actually lure them right to you and we have a complete new lure which is this flag lure we haven't seen this before it's not just to say hello to the geese that come down here 
it's actually it's got the same effect as the long distance caller the long range caller uh, and it's not just a replacement or just an option to it it's actually stacking with the caller with the long distance with the long range caller so this is something new having this flag layer along with the uh, long range caller uh, in multiplayer you now have an advantage if there's two players one using the flag layer one using the caller you have a stacking effect you have actually a bigger attraction to the geese so uh, the first for the first time we actually have a difference in multiplayer versus single player where you actually have a better at attraction effect using both callers one thing I'm interested in is uh, with the short range caller you can make ducks swim closer to you. It takes them quite a while to actually approach. And I want to find out if this short range caller has the same effect. I've been sounding it once already. And they actually do walk over to my place. Hello. So, okay, so this also works uh, in case you see a flock or a, a bunch of geese that have landed a bit further away from you or maybe at the start of the game where you have a few geese already on on land somewhere you can use the short range caller and make them walk over to your place good to know okay enough of the theory let's put these callers in action or the lures Playing single player, I guess it doesn't matter whether I use the flag lure or the long range caller. Alright, let's see what these keys look like. So the score is now in grams. You see 5.7 kilograms or uh, 5,700 grams. Uh, they changed the scoring with the ducks. They had it in pounds, but there were too many similar or uh, same scores, so they changed it to grams. And like I said, I want to see the artwork a little bit. Very nice. I like it very much. It's like, looks like a real goose. Okay, so this concludes our little goose hunting tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, like always, thanks for watching.